Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple scuba tank rack uh, with materials you can get for super cheap. Um, I picked these up at the dollar store. All I have is just a couple pool noodles and you only need one to uh, hold two tanks. Um, just got some cheap rope, a knife, and a lighter. And so if we measure these out here, they're about 47 inches. And so just to round it off, we'll just call it 45 and split these up into three 15 inch lengths. So we'll measure these out, mark this out, get these cut. We all know that uh, scuba diving is not the cheapest hobby in the world. So this is just demonstrating that you can do this with cheap materials from the dollar store. You can use pool noodles, you can use PVC, you can make these out of wood. Um, there's tanks like tank racks like this that are going for you know thirty dollars if you want to have them pre-made but you can do this yourself and it only takes about an hour so we're marking the drill holes out at five and ten inches so we're going to drill through here drill through all three and then take our rope and I'm just wrapping it around a drill bit and shoving that through to push it through the other side and then we'll make a stopper knot so I'm using a figure eight stopper knot and then I'll do another one more overhand just to make it nice and tight make it a little wider so just like that it's not gonna pull through it's good and so we're making a knot on the other side of this noodle here and that's just to prevent the noodle from sliding back and forth. We just want to have those nice and secure. Same thing, figure eight with the one more overhand. And so I'm marking these out at seven inches is where I'm gonna have the next knot. Um, I've got two aluminum 80s and that just seemed like it was gonna be the perfect width for these. And if you got steel tanks, sizes are going to vary a little bit but for aluminum 80s this these dimensions will work pretty good so we're going to push it through the next one you can kind of see there it's going to hold that pretty well so we'll tie that one off and get these the rest of these going here Okay, put it through the last one, tie this one off, and then we got one more rope that's going to go across the bottom. Now I'll just kind of demonstrate for you guys how this is going to look and turn out. Um, with the rope, just like anything, when you're cutting the rope, make sure you, you burn the ends or melt the ends so that the rope doesn't fray. And we're doing the same thing with the second rope. We got the end tied off, melting the end. Put our knots through. Get these marked out seven inches. Okay, all right, and there we go. 
So we'll throw both of our tanks in here and give them a little push so you can kind of see that they're you know holding there nice and secure. So there's our finished product and we'll go take it for a test drive. Yeah, that's going to work pretty good. Alright, let's take it for a quick test drive here. Make a couple turns. You can see these tanks are nice and secure. They're not rolling around, not banging around. Um, this is a real cheap way to just get you a good little tank rack for your trunk, for your Jeep, for your truck whatever you've got so if you guys found this helpful please like please subscribe thanks again and dive safe